Hello friends and welcome to another Nostalgia Talk bonus. So the last few Christmases, I have made these little retrospectives on nostalgic Christmas productions that maybe some people wouldn't know about. And when it comes to holiday productions, we all know who the masters are. Rankin Bass. The Rankin Bass specials uh, centered around holiday themes really are classic, but I don't know if this is common knowledge, maybe it is, but they even did one on the origins of the Easter Bunny. So this is keeping in vain with Santa Claus is Coming to Town, their holiday special on the origin of Santa Claus. This one's done on the Easter Bunny. And as we all know, visiting with the Easter Bunny is very similar to visiting with Santa Claus. Um, so it's not really totally surprising that they made a special about it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look back on it. However, it's been a little while since I've watched it. Um, and there are, there's a lot of stuff that I really don't remember about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to watch it and then I'm going to come back. This is going to jump from place to place. I'm going to come back on here and I'm going to talk about what it is that I'm seeing with you guys. And I'm all set, got some water, and my Nostalgia Talk coasters. What do you think? If you're wondering, these were actually given to me. The, uh, these were mailed to me uh, by my best friend Sean in Scotland. Sean, thank you so much. These are so cute. Anyway, I'll just put my water bottle on that. Put my headphones on. And typing into YouTube, Easter Bunny is coming to town. All right. And there it is. All right. So for those of you who've never seen Santa Claus is Coming to Town, the Rankin Bass special, it basically starts with, uh, and I think the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer one kind of did something like this too, uh, but it starts with a news story um, I think the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer one started with a news story about a uh, winter blizzard. Actually, yes it did. Yeah, I was trying, it's been a little while since I've seen these, but I remember the Santa Claus one, um, it was like, uh, Children are preparing for an event like no other, the visit of Santa Claus. This time around, it's very similar to that, uh, a visit from the Easter Bunny. Children everywhere are straightening their bonnets and making very good chances not to peek. So, yeah, kind of uh, similarly done to that. So because I don't own the footage, I'm not going to show what it is that I'm watching just for copyright reasons. I know that I pro I know that it probably is considered fair use, but I'm just being cautious. Uh, so what I'm seeing right now is uh, this actually is pretty much a direct uh, spiritual sequel to the Santa Claus is Coming to Town one. Both were narrated by the legendary Fred Astaire. And uh, it starts with him coming in, and on this one, he's riding a train. Chug, the little engine that could. We all know that story. So Fred Astaire says, I've got some letters here that I'm mailing to the Easter Bunny. He gets almost as much letters as Santa does. Uh, and so he's reading the letters, and he looks at the camera, and he's like, I'll bet one of you wrote it. And so the kids are, like, reading the letters aloud, like, um, uh, why do we hide eggs? Or, um who made the first chocolate bunny, stuff like that. And so, yeah, Fred's like, uh, I, can, I can answer all of your questions. And then he starts introducing the special with a song. Now, I actually did watch this special a lot when I was a kid. I think I actually have a VHS tape of it. I believe it actually is in this room. Probably. Uh, but anyway, um, I, I do remember the song. It went something like, uh, The Easter Bunny is coming to town today. Here's hoping he's hippity-hopping your way. Something like that. Uh, but yeah, gotta love uh, the classics by the one and only Fred Astaire. What a legend. So our story begins in a little community called Kidville, where... Everyone living there is all orphans. That's really sad, actually. But anyway, there's a kid mayor, policeman, and Fred Astaire's character even shows up as a kid mailman. He's like, yeah, that's why I know the story so well. And it's on the other side of Big Rock Mountain, home of a, uh, a ferocious bear known as Gadzooks. Gadzooks was like a... I actually do remember Gadzooks from when I was a kid. He was... Uh, I was a little frightened by him, too. But he... Um, it's an inner... It's a... Interesting name for a bear, really, um, Gadzooks. I feel like that would be like a, would be a good rapper name. But anyway, 
So, like, he would come into town on, uh, like, whatever the holiday was, uh, Halloween, uh, birthday, Christmas, and, uh, just steal stuff. There's a kid policeman, but I can kind of understand why the kid policeman wouldn't want to arrest Gadzooks for that. You know, I'd be nervous, too, around a frickin' bear. And then they find a little orphan bunny who's, like, not sure of, uh, where he is, and so... Some of the uh, kids in the community of Kidville take him in, and uh, they're like, okay, does he have a name? And they've noticed how much he likes the sun, so they decide to name him Sonny. So as Sonny grows up, eventually by the time he becomes a year old, he becomes very, very smart. Uh, rabbits actually uh, grow a lot faster than humans do. Um, and it's even explained in the special that uh, rabbits grow faster than humans. And so he, uh, he basically uh, tells everyone at Kidville, we've got to expand. We've got to send the stuff that we make to everyone else. And the big suggestion is eggs. He says, no other egg in the world can top Kidville eggs. Um, I have to confess, I'm actually not an egg lover. So that's when we meet the Hendrews sisters. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Andrew's sisters, you know, that old band from the 40s. Um, so yeah, they're the egg layers of Kidville. And one of the um, one of the kids, by which I mean like we saw in the intro that kids were reading their letters for the Easter Bunny as uh, Fred Astaire's character was showcasing them. And one of the kids says, uh, which came first, the chicken or the egg? And then that leads to a song by the Hedrew sister, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Uh, which do you think came first? Comment below. It says that the chicken came first uh, because of the story of uh, Noah's Ark when Noah brought a chicken onto the ark. But uh, chicken had to come from somewhere, the egg. So yeah, which came first? So Sonny leaves Kidville to um, give the eggs to whoever is on the other side of Big Rock Mountain. And on the way he meets a man named Hallelujah. Is that his birth name or a nickname? But anyway, um, so he asks him, uh, where are you going? And Sonny says, I don't know. Hallelujah responds, been there many times. Best part about it is that you don't have to worry about being on time. So Sonny tells Hallelujah, I've got to find a place to sell all of these eggs. And Hallelujah recommends a place called Town. And that's actually what it's called. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. The Easter Bunny is coming to town. He's going to a place called town. Okay, I get it. So, yeah, Hallelujah basically tells him how to get there. And um, Sonny asks him, where are you going? Hallelujah says, where do you say you were coming from? Kidville. Oh, that's where I'm going. If you ain't there, they got room for one more. As Sonny makes it over Big Rock Mountain, that's when he meets the legendary Gadzooks who basically wants the eggs, scaring Sonny off, and he leaves the basket of eggs there, and Gadzooks picks them up. Hope he enjoys. So that's when Sonny makes it to town, which looks so, so depressing. And he goes up to a man in town and says, where are the children? The man says, children are against the law. Well, that explains why there's so many people in Kidville, honestly. And the rules are made by seven-year-old King Bruce and his wicked aunt, Lily Longtooth. And King Bruce is only allowed to have beans. And Lily Longtooth is very, very strict about that. That's got to be some kind of torture. Like, there's other foods out there in the world, not just beans. So Sonny somewhat peeks into the castle where he sees King Bruce being chastised by Lily Longtooth. And um, King Bruce is saying, beans is all anybody eats around here. I don't want to be king. And Lily Longtooth. Now, if you've ever seen um, Santa Claus is coming to town, let me give you a little comparison here. So Lily Longtooth is like Burgermeister Meisterburger. Um, and Gadzooks is like the Winter Warlock. Um, you can watch that the, both those specials and make a comparison. Maybe I'll do a comparison. Um, but right now I'm going to focus on on this. So Sonny says, no wonder Hallelujah said that those eggs would be a hit here. Problem, he dropped them because he was scared shitless by Gadzooks. 
So to make them unrecognizable to Gadzooks for Sonny's next visit uh, to town, Hallelujah has the idea of coloring the eggs different colors. Because we've all seen eggs, you know, traditionally they're white or brown, so Hallelujah dips them in paint that's red, yellow, green, blue, orange, so that way Gadzooks doesn't think that they're eggs. So on the way to town, Sonny and Gadzooks are sadly reunited, and Gadzooks is more aggressive with Sonny this time, grabs him and says, What more eggs? Rabbit got more eggs? Sonny says, no, just these colored stones. I live on Big Rock Mountain. What do with stones? You go back and get more eggs. And Sonny's like, some other time, bye, and runs off. So Sonny very successfully manages to escape Gadzooks by going to the direction of town. Gadzooks is like, that's not the way to Kidville. And trips before he can chase him. However, Sonny makes a little trip of his own. While heading into town, he crashes into like these soldier type guards or something and gives them Easter eggs. And that's the first time that they're being called Easter eggs. And they're like, I don't, I'm not gonna try this. Oh, you try this. No, I don't wanna try this. And Sonny points out that somebody has to be the first to try an Easter egg. Somebody has to be the first to do anything. Something has to be the first in anything. Like, um, you know, like, uh, what are some good examples? Um, somebody had to be the first to host a podcast. Wasn't me, but somebody had to be the first. And, you know, people listen to them. Um, somebody had to be the first to, uh, direct a movie. You know? Uh, I, I still remember the song, Someone's gotta be first. All things gotta be faced. Someone's gotta, someone's gotta take a taste. So that's a, a good little lesson, you know? This is the first time anybody's referred to it as an Easter egg. What's the difference between an Easter egg and a regular egg? Somebody's gotta be the first to find out. And the guards really like the Easter eggs. So he even gives one to King Bruce, and King Bruce says, why is this called an Easter egg? And Sonny says, well, it's got springtime colors, and I'm giving it to you on Easter. And King Bruce says, well, then that makes you the Easter Bunny. And so that is now what he is known as. And then in comes whole Lily Longtooth, who is not pleased by the fact that two things. Number one, that there's a rabbit in the king's chamber, and also that they're having a food besides beans. So Sonny runs off from Lily Longtooth, and King Bruce is sent to bed without supper. Hold on, isn't that, because that's his aunt, isn't that some form of child abuse? So similar to the case of Burgermeister Meister Burger in the Christmas one, Lady Lillington uh, makes King Bruce pass out a law that eggs are illegal. And in the Christmas one, it was toys. In this one, it's eggs. So because basically the only food that King Bruce is allowed to eat is beans, Sonny gets the idea to return to town next Easter with a very special Easter bean so that Lily Longtooth will screw off and get off of his case. And that is the invention of the jelly bean. On the way back to town, who do you think Sonny reunites with? Gadzooks! Takes the basket of eggs and jelly beans. More colored stones! I hate colored stones! And tosses them on to the direction of town. Nope, I'm wrong actually. It didn't go through the direction of town. It went to the direction of Kidville, where some of the kids actually discovered some of the Easter eggs that had fallen out of the basket. And. That led to the discovery of hiding eggs so that they could be found. So the next Easter, Sonny makes his next trip on his way over Big Rock Mountain. And this time he's got a plan for old Gadzooks. So when he comes across uh, the old bear, he lures him over to Kidville where they have made him a special Easter outfit. And that really does, you know, transform Gadzooks from this, um, you know, threatening bear to, uh, you know, we get to see a softer side to him. And Hallelujah even sings a little song, and you think nobody loves you, but they do. And that was a really, um, very, very nice song, a very uh, 
you know, good lesson that, um, you know, because, you know, we see Gadzooks as kind of, like, frightening, but, as we all know, you know, just because they look frightening doesn't usually mean that they are, you know? They probably have, um, a lot of, and I feel like Gadzooks probably has a lot of insecurities about himself, which makes him seem frightening, but, uh, their present to him made him happy. So, some of the kids of Kidville and the Easter Bunny go to town to do their uh, hiding of the Easter eggs, and a lot of the adults in town really enjoy that. King Bruce really enjoys the jelly beans, and Lily Longtooth is pissed! So she puts out an alert for her guards to get the children and the rabbit and throw them in the dungeon, and the, and the guards go, Get the children and the rabbit! Get the children and the rabbit! So this time around for Easter, Sonny has a little plan for getting into town. He knows that Lily Longtooth uh, will get, you know, more laws passed as soon as he shows off his, um, his stuff. So just as he suspected, the guards are headed to the direction of Kidville to capture Sonny and the kids, but Sonny's ready this time and has the kids roll Easter eggs down the hill so that the guards trip on them. The first ever Easter egg roll. Okay, 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 I'm, I'm, I'll keep going. Um, but the guards get up and survive the fall. Even though eggs are round, they would probably really get hurt, because like I've seen, you know, in uh, on TV shows, people really get hurt from uh, slipping on round stuff, but anyway. Um, so, Sonny goes into a paper bag, and the guards are like, he's in that paper bag. They open it, and it's a chocolate Easter bunny. And they decide to dig in. I guess there was a trap door underneath the bag, so that's how Sonny probably got out. I'm just guessing. This scene also features the first ever Easter parade. Everyone's so happy with Sonny's creations, you know, Easter eggs, Easter jelly beans, Easter outfits, so they all put on their Easter outfits and held the first Easter parade in, literally, town. And Sonny gifts Bruce with stuffed Easter toys that were really, really cute looking. Bruce tells Sonny, oh, you make everyone so happy. And Sonny says, well, you know, I wish I could do that all the time, but I always have to sneak in. And so King Bruce, being king, says, well, I give you permission to come to town whenever you want. And that's when, you know, Lily Longtooth returns and Sonny says, you gotta, gotta learn how to stand up to her. And that's something that Hallelujah had pointed out, you know, King Bruce is king. He's gotta learn to stand up to Lily Longtooth. And King Bruce is like, look, I know I outrank you. Sonny's like, oh dear God. And Lily Longtooth says to the guards, do whatever you can to make sure that the Easter Bunny never comes to town again. Followed by a very evil laugh. My God, this character actually might be worse than Burger Meister Meister Burger from the Christmas one. So as they're making preparations for the next Easter, this time they've got so much stuff that they ask Gadzooks to help them bring it. However, Lily Longtooth's guards already saw that coming and held out a, like there's one guard on this side, one guard on this side, here's Gadzooks in the middle, and held out a rope so the Gadzooks would trip. God, that's rude. And, you know, I say that because, you know, the, uh, the fall from tripping caused him to break his big toe. Okay, yeah, that's... Yeah, that, that's a bit much. That's honestly a bit much. So Sonny's like, okay, how are we gonna get all this stuff uh, across? Hallelujah gets the idea to build a railroad and bring it there by train. So that's when they meet Fred Astaire's engine, Chugs. And of course, as, as uh, he had pointed out, Chugs is the little engine that could. And so uh, he gets, so they all sing a song to get Chugs to believe in himself. Uh, in order to, uh, to, like, make it, like, upways, sideways, whatever, um, to get into town. But, as usual, whole <laughs> Lily Longtooth is already way ahead of them, has the guards put butter on the rails to slow them down. 
Uh, really, I think butter would make them go faster, though, because butter is very, very slippery. Um, but in this story, it slows them down. So Hallelujah gets the idea to put jelly beans on the butter. Okay, I, I understand that this is animated, but putting jelly beans and butter together on the rails would only slow it down even more. But only butter would just make them go faster. So Lily Longtooth is clearly not the smartest villain in the world, although she is one of the worst TV special villains I have ever seen. So Lily Longtooth says, how dare they succeed? What are we gonna do now? And the guards say, get lots of salt. And Lily Longtooth's like, why salt? And one of the guards says, for all those Easter eggs that we're gonna have. So, overruled, sucker. So Sonny and King Bruce decide to do something nice for Lily Longtooth and give her a flower. And they even name it after her, Lily. Uh, just saying, after the way that uh, she treated Sonny, I probably wouldn't give her a flower. I mean, they always say, kill him with kindness, and that is a nice thing that, uh, that they did. So this really does turn a new leaf for Lily Longtooth, and Sonny invites her to join everyone in town for the Easter celebration. And then Fred Astaire comes to join everyone, and everyone in Kidville, Gadzooks, Hallelujah, Sonny and Fred Astaire's character all leave town singing, the Easter Bunny is coming to town today. And that's how it all ends. So there's my, uh, shall we call it, I, 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 you guys can call that if you want, Nostalgia Talk Easter bonus, because you know we've got Nostalgia Talk Christmas bonus. Um, but there we go. There's our retrospective on the Easter Bunny is coming to town. And hopefully uh, you guys are uh, having a good Easter weekend. Um, you know, uh, hopefully, uh, you find lots of eggs or have lots of eggs, you know, whatever. Enjoy time with your family. Um, so yeah, happy, uh, happy Easter and I will see you next time. Peace.